Hello guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, I am going to explain you how we can create a uh, meeting by using uh, Power Automate. So, uh, we will see two scenarios on this, where in one scenario, there will be a manual trigger flow where user will enter the meeting title, description, attendees, uh, maybe the start date and time, same way the end date and time and then uh, when the flow will trigger, then it will create a uh, meeting in the Outlook calendar. In the same way, we'll also take another example where we will uh, create a meeting from a SharePoint list. So basically, we'll create a SharePoint list where there will be columns like meeting title, description, attendees, start date, and end date. And then whenever user will uh, you know add an item to the uh, list, then uh, a flow will trigger and then it will create a meeting. Like these two scenarios, we'll do it. In the last video, I have explained how we can create a team in my, you know Microsoft Teams by using Power Automate. I'll put the link in the video description. Also, I have written a complete tutorial on the same where I have explained step by step how we can create, do these things, whatever we are going to uh, you know, do this demo now. And you can follow that tutorial if you want to follow as a article as well. And uh, also, if you want similar kind of videos, then subscribe to the channel so that you will get all the notifications whenever I'll make any video on SharePoint Power Platform on this thing. Okay, so now let's go to the system and then we will go step by step okay so now let's see how we can schedule a meeting using power automate in teams as i explained here so the first one we will try to create a screen like this where user will enter the subject attendees description like meeting description start date and time uh, so end date and time this thing we will do it now why you will see here two things are there because in power automate uh, you know we need to uh, choose this kind of time format so i'll show you that okay so now let me go to the uh, here in the browser so i'll go to i'll open make.powerautomate.com and here we will first will create a or we will create a, a flow which will uh, be a instant cloud flow so what will happen is you can instantly run that by just clicking on this now click over here and then i'll give a uh, name for it so i'll say schedule flow for meeting okay and then i'll say manually trigger this click on create so once you click on create you will come up with this kind of screen here click over here and here we can give the inputs the first input i'll take uh, a text i will take uh, this as title uh, like the meeting title second one i'll take a uh, same way i'll say the description so this will be going to the meeting description third one is uh uh i'll take uh, now let me delete it so if you'll see here the third one is we will take the start date and time uh, okay third one will take the attendance which will be a email column so i'll say attendees okay and then here i'll take a date column so it is the start date and you can see here it is coming in y y y y uh, dash mm and dash dd format should not have the time so what i'll do is i'll take another text column and i will say it uh, like you know start time of the meeting and we will tell user to put in a particular format if you see here it is in h h so in this format they'll put h h like hour minute and second why it is because while uh, you know providing the parameter for uh, you know while creating the team will be I'll show you how we can concatenate both of this and then we can show it and the next one I'll take the same way I'll, I'll take another date field which will be uh, the end date and another one I'll put as the text like you know uh, end time right so we'll just tell the user like to put in this format let me tell you we have not put any validation or anything we will now what we'll do is now you can see here this is what we required so that user can select this thing and they can the flow will trigger next one is i will come here and click on add an action and then uh, create uh, a team so it is you can click on show more and you will be able to see here there is a flow action called as create a team meeting select this and then you can see here few things are quite simple i'll select go here 
and then uh, I'll show everything and you can see here the title body will be we will take the description time zone you can select any time zone for it and then the so look at here the start date and time so if I'll show you now look at this what uh, you know the this is expecting in this format now look at here it is coming in this format you can see here T and then your time like this this format it is expecting right so we need to now concatenate and do that because we have a start date field and we have a time field we need to concatenate it so select here go to the formula and then just uh, search for concat you can see here so this is just we are concatting I'll take the start uh, date and uh, with that I'll put a comma and then uh, we need the T here and then I'll take the start time here and I'll click so all here if you'll see here there will be start time you can see this so now this is what is going to be our start time same way I'll go here I'll say contact and uh, here also same thing uh, the first parameter we will take this time is uh, end date you can see here end date and I'll put a T here and next one I'll take the end time right and I'll click on that so if you see here now this is how it is I'll check calendar here the calendar ID right I will now save it so if you see here that has been saved now it will just take a couple of seconds and it will save so now you can see here the flow is saved now I'll go to my flows and uh, you can see uh, the first one schedule flow for uh, team uh, for meeting I'll click on the run button once I click on run button you can see here uh, I need to just refresh it I don't know the reason why it is happening like this but uh, uh, once you refresh it then it will start working I'll go to my flows again where I can see the flow now click over here and uh, next you can see here continue once you continue it is asking for uh, the provide the input which we actually added on this case right so I'll give the input I'll give a uh, like test meeting from flow I'll put the same description here without wasting time I'll put uh, here the name for attendees I'll put the start date here suppose meeting will be 15th and I'll put the time let's say it will be 0 3 uh, 0 0 and 0 0 same way I'll put the end date as 15 and I will put here is 04 00 and 00 like this is what is the uh, start and end date I'll click on run flow now you can see here the flow runs successfully what we will do now is uh, we'll have to see whether the meeting first of all we'll see whether the flow trigger successfully or not now you can see here uh, the flow triggers succeeded here so if i'll go to the outlook calendar now i'll click on this guys if you are seeing a if you are just hearing a background noise some work is going on here i don't want to stop this now i'll go to the outlook you can see it here and i'll go to the calendar uh, now there should be a meeting okay so due to the time zone it is coming on this way like you can convert to UTC all these things you can do best meeting from flow this is what we created uh, based on the time zone you can see here it is coming on this date right so again uh, it is up to you if you want uh, uh, to convert to other time zones you can do that so this is one way uh, where you can uh, go here and then you can uh, uh, you know create a flow uh, which you can instantly run it on a button click and it will create a you can fill the details and it will create a meeting the other one we will do here is i have a list you can see here there's a you can see here there's a meeting request list and in this i have a title column description start date end date and attend this column what i'll do here is i will just delete this flow <coughs> like so i will we will create another flow now 
like see here this list you need to create and then i'll click from here and i'll select automated cloud flow i'll give a flow name meeting request flow and then uh, when a new item is created we want the flow to trigger and you can see here now when a, when an item is created we need to select the site and list name so if you will see here the site is sp guides the list name is a uh, meeting request so if you will see here this is the list name so i selected this next option is we need to go here and uh, same action is same create i'll just create a team meeting you can see and same parameters it is asking subject we will take it uh, as the title body i will take as the description time zone i'll select a time zone on this like based on the time zone you are selecting uh, you know the that way it will take the uh, you know the format now look at this so here you just need to take care of one thing that you need to provide the uh, you need to convert the time zone to utc format uh, for the start time and end time right so go to the function and if you'll see there is a utc function is there so if you'll just utc now function is there and from here uh, you can just select uh, the date here which is the start date right and click on add second one also same way uh, go to the formula select the utc utc now and then uh, this time also we need to choose it which is the end date these are two list columns so just we need to convert into it is now format and then i'll say calendar right so now this is what is our flow about uh, subject message time zone i selected start date start date and start time basically start time and end time this is what it is so if you have if you select multiple uh 10 days also it will create so this one this column like attend this column i have a uh, choose the option so that user can select multiple options here allow multiple selection is true so you can even add multiple person on that i'll say meeting for sharepoint and uh, i'll put the same description here and then the start date i'll put it here uh, let's say 16 i'll put the time little bit on that let's say 6 30 am end it i'll put same 16 and then i'll put let's say 7 30. return this i can put single multiple whatever i want i have this option i selected both and i click on save so once you click on save now the flow will trigger we can see this i'll go to uh, the my flows i'll just go here this is the uh, flow that we created now meeting request flow now it might take some time to reflect it i'll just pause it once so now you can look at it uh, the flow trigger successfully and if i'll go to the calendar you can see here 16th there's a meeting that we have scheduled on this time right so uh yeah you can you, even you can uh, convert uh, to the time zone whatever you want i have also explained that in the tutorial so you can have a look at it and this is how we can create a meeting or as you can schedule a meeting uh, from power automate in microsoft teams and if you want similar kind of videos then subscribe to our youtube channel uh, so that you'll get notification whenever we'll make videos like this on sharepoint power platform spfx all these technology videos i usually make so you'll get notified on that thank you and have a nice day